All praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Ha Raka Kudash. Double honors to our apostle elders, which taught us the truth and ruled great millstone well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom Wa Ababa So this is the elder out there in uh, LA. One of the elders, the head elder. Uh, I don't remember the brother's name right now, but uh, when you hear his voice, you'll recognize it. But he makes a, a good point on here, and it hit the switch for me in my mind. You know, the light came on through the Holy Spirit. It brought me into remembrance by the Holy Spirit, okay? He said that nobody's doing anything about all these things that's happening in America, like train derailments which there was just a train derailment in the Mississippi River again today. All right. Um, these are not coincidences. These are the hand of Yahweh Sham Yahushai. And he's using the wicked, all right, the ones that control society today, the wicked Edomites, the so-called Caucasians, but the elite level to destroy their own kingdom. All right, the der derailments and all that is being done by the elite class against the lower class, which now in this time in 2023, the year that we pray and hope that Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai fulfills all the prophecies. All right, the lower Edomites are as low as Jake today. You got some Jake living better than Edomites. The Jake I'm speaking of are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, the sons of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. The so-called Caucasians, all right, for the most part, are Edomites, the so-called white men today. They're the wicked that rule the world, and that's why the world's in a wicked state. And we're in a transition between the wicked to the righteous. The wicked are going to perish and the righteous are going to prosper, starting with 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel, which would be proclaiming the name Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai in these last days. All right. So this elder, he, he, he made a good point that, all right, nobody could stop this because Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai is doing it. And I was thinking about this. I was even speaking about it. You know, you look in history. It says, um, as the Apostle Tahar and the Apostle Elders, the head Apostle Elders out in New York, they always say, you know, you got to know the history to know the mystery. And I was thinking about the history of, you know, war times, looking back in World War One, World War Two, or even like Vietnam. Uh, there was protests and things like this against the war, which you don't see, right? Which there's a, a spirit of gross darkness in the world right now under the wicked. But the outer made a good point. He said, nobody could stop this because this is the will of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. And these low-level Edomites right now are watching their kingdom being torn down. All right, just like when we went into slavery, we had to watch Jerusalem burn. Our, they destroyed our, our homes wherever we dwelt. Because remember, we scattered throughout the world, all right, fleeing from the heathen. The northern kingdom came over on Assyrian ships to America trying to flee from the heathen. And then you had the southern kingdom come to America on slave ships, but they were in Africa, in West Africa, and now even East Africa and all over the world because they were fleeing from the red devil, the so-called white men which was destroying Jerusalem in 70 AD. All right. So we're in a time where this devil is about to come down with great wrath, knowing that they have but a short time. All right. Us that's in the know, that's paying attention. Legislation is passed. All right. The uh, Fed. All right. And there's actually legislation that just passed. All right. So they just passing this, uh, It says Ron DeSantis signs legislation to combat hate crimes while on trip to Israel. 
All right. It says Jerusalem, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed legislation cracking down on hate crimes Thursday morning, which is today, April 27th, 2023. It says morning, and it says signed legislation cracking down on hate crimes Thursday morning after a high-profile speech in Israel. Known as the Public Nuisances Bill, the legislation passed Wednesday by the state legislation makes it a felony for hate groups to harass people for their religion or ethnicity. Florida had the fourth highest number of anti-Semitic, see there's that name, which that's a false name because who is Sem? Okay, in the Bible you don't find the name Sem. You find the name Shem, and really it's Sham in the Paleo-Hebrew, the original tongue, all right? And these counterfeits, all right, are hurt. They're on the defense, so now they got to become aggressive and violent, all right? It says, of anti-Semitic incidents in 2022, according to the Anti-Defamation League, which I just saw an article here in Colorado of, uh, it looked like an Asian guy pretty much assaulted a, let me see here, all right, here in Colorado, it says three days ago, Colorado Springs man thought victim was part of the Illuminati before sledgehammer attack. All right, what you can see that this man is completely looking insane. His hair is all long like a woman. He cuts his beard. His hair is all green. All right, so this is not a righteous man. All right, but they're doing this. It's called um, controlled opposition. All right, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, the elite, what they call the Illuminati, all right, is coming down with great wrath knowing that he had but a short time, all right? But we're going to overcome him by the blood of the lamb. First, he was sacrificed for us. We were bought with the cost. That cost was paid by the precious blood of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And we are of the bloodline the nation of Israel. See, the only ones that could be saved. But this devil is going to come down with great wrath on the nation of Israel. It's how far gone and in, 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 uh, uh, through that this place is. All right? And you, we see how the left hand is moving. Us that's in the know, that's paying attention. Legislation is passed. All right? The uh, Fed now supposed to be going live uh by july okay to where they're going to get rid of all currency all right all debit cards and all cash will be no longer it'll be strictly fed now digital payments okay so this summer could be it and the most High has numbered this place this kingdom is finished all right it is the, the the world is going to shit, but they still got majority of our people distracted with these uh, sports, NBA playoffs, you know, the NFL uh, 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 draft, you know. Then they gonna have the combines. Meanwhile, they 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 locking this place down. Okay, they bringing over. Uh, Chinese troops and, st and and putting them Lord knows where. All right, and can't nobody stop what's going on. They they can record it and say this is happening, but who's stopping it? Okay, they're not stopping it because this is the will of the Lord that's going down, man. See that? This is the will of the Lord, and that's a beautiful statement. All right, done by this elder brother. Mawa Tazak Ban Gad. All right. God is how you would pronounce Gad, but in the Hebrew, 
but in, you know, with the English, it's Gad, but it would be God in the Paleo pronunciation. This elder just said something very good, you know, being that it's true that this is the will of the Lord. That's why nobody's really protesting. That's why nobody's really trying to stop this. This is the end generation and everybody's lot is pretty much set. And we're, the, we're about to witness the greatest judgment to ever go down. And that's America's destruction after they in, uh, implement making the implantable micro CHIP mandatory for buying and selling worldwide. Will the destruction of America come after this? Okay. And this is why you have, let's get this back to this video. Okay. This is why you finna have, this is why he's uh, getting ready to say what he's getting ready to say. And also, Tucker Carlson was fired from Fox News. All right? It's over for this place. Okay? It and it is over. It's very much over. If we go into the history, there was a big train derailment. It's a lot there. For the, this is for this uh, noise that came on the commercial. But I wanted to get this here. Dealing with them and that situation. Because uh, now the two cars that went fully into the river, they're saying that they. They're also saying. Out that, to me. And they're saying that so far. This stood out to me. This was a big train derailment. It just happened. In Wisconsin, sends multiple cars into Mississippi River. Hazmat crews on scene. Because I just personally got a, re a report of my local area having poisoned water now, too. And uh, if you see this train, it looks like it's in Hebrew, you know, the wa, which is to add or end. You know, like to add something to or add to the conversation. And there looks like to be an eye on this. You know, that might be my own imagination. But through the spirit, I believe this is, a, you know, a wa in the Hebrew. And this is the Lord adding his judgment to Babylon, which all of us brothers, you know, we all pray a ba ba ba. And the Lord is adding wa a ba ba ba. He hears our prayer. The Lord is tearing down Esau's house with Esau's hands. All right, like a foolish woman. In the front of the eyes of the Israelites, the slaves of the Edomites were literally watching them being torn to pieces by them by their own hands. Now let's go back.